One of the things that uh, you can't help but noticing when you cruise the local fly-in is that there's always something new to be seen. Well, new to be seen in this case comes from PC Avionics, who's done some interesting things with small flat panel displays. Todd, if you will, explain to us what's new at PC Avionics. Uh, PC Avionics is coming out with some new glass panel instruments we call Your Glass Panel, and they, uh, they're they set up with much smaller displays. They use um, two and a half inch, three and a half inch sizes. They fit the largest display possible into a standard instrument size, and they're made to be switchovers, fail-safes, backups, and can be used in standard panels. You don't have to change your holes. You can put things whatever way you want, whatever display you want, the same little device can do it. Now what instruments will these be replacing? They can replace your, all your regular six-pack instruments, clock, CDI, G-meter. They can display all, any one instrument can display any of those things. Um, and there'll be more to come as we get more sensors, can, sensor boards made and more, uh, more displays designed. So any one of the individual displays can switch over to any sensor and display basically anything, so you've got yourself a phenomenal amount of <laughs> double, triple redundancy at this point, wouldn't you? Right. The, the idea is you move to these smaller displays. Um, instead of having one big EFIS display that's maybe 10-inch display that costs a lot of money, you get several of these little displays, and if any one of them goes out, all of them have the, capa the same capabilities of displaying any of the instruments. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own, and easy-to-operate very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Now, back to Aero TV. Well, since you brought up the matter of money, and let's face it, to aviators, that's a near and dear subject, how do these systems compare to uh, a standard uh, available EFA system right now as far as cost? Um, it seems like the, the larger EFAs are somewhere in the eight to $60,000 range, depending on whether you're talking about you know, Grand Rapids or a, or a Garmin. Um, these are going to be, for the display only units, are going to be $1,200. Uh, for the units that have sensors built in, we're, in October, we're still not certain of the price, should be about $2,500. So a full six pack, you're talking about under $10,000 for, for the full six pack of instruments that can back up anything. All of them can back up any of the others. That's quite the price point. How do you do that and still maintain uh, the kind of quality and redundancy that people require in aviation? Um, well, these instruments are very simple in, inside, and uh, they're not running any kind of an operating system, so they don't use um, they don't use a lot of extra code. There's a lot of systems out there that run DOS or Windows or Linux or whatever, and none of that stuff's running in our instruments. You've been in this business a while. Can you talk a little bit about some of the product line that you've brought out previous, so people understand a little bit about PC Avionics? Sure. Um, what we've done uh, in the past has been initially bringing a moving map product that's built around a standard looking sectional type moving map onto PDAs and tablet computers and it has uh, the best terrain database that's been around for five years. Proven product. It uses uh, all your standard colors and symbols. Mm -hmm. We added uh, windshield view so it has synthetic vision. We added support for weather and attitude backup and pedostatic and gyros and auto autopilots. Just as, the, as more and more sensors became available, we added more and more support and just to give people more options about how they can run it. Aero TV is brought to you by... Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. Obviously, these are currently destined for the experimental market. Any designs on certification? Um, 
that's always that's always a good question. Um, hopefully, when you look at them, you can see that they're they're designed with that kind of idea in mind. Um, so far, we're gonna we're gonna see how things go in the in the experimental market, and and maybe there will be. I think there will be good things to talk about in doing certification on them again because they're so simple and and low power usage, and, and we built them built them with anodized bezels and it's all aluminum case. All those things go into making an instrument that could be certified and honestly I haven't uh, haven't gone far into that realm yet. I'm kind of just getting my toes into the, into the water to find out what happens there.